Jailhouse Rock, he's everything Rockabilly's about. I mean, he is Rockabilly. Mean, surly, nasty, rude. And that movie, he couldn't give a fuck about nothing and nobody except rockin' and rollin'. Living fast, dying young, and leaving a good looking corpse behind. I love that scene where after he's made it big, he's throwing this big cocktail party and all these highbrows are there and he's singing, Baby, why you laugh? Oh, baby, listen to me. Baby, you're so square. Baby, I don't care. Now they got him dressed up like a dick. He's wearing these stupid looking pants, this horrible sweater. Elvis, Elvis ain't no sweater boy. I even think they got him wearing penny loafers. But despite all that shit, I mean, the high rise at the party, the big house, the fancy clothes, he's still a mean looking motherfucker. I'd watch that hillbilly. <laughs> I want to be him so bad. I mean, Elvis looked good. Elvis was good looking. I mean, he's better looking than most women. Most women. You know, always said if I ever had the fucking guy. I mean, had to because my life depended on it. I'd fuck Elvis. I'd fuck Elvis. Would you? Well, when he was alive. <laughs> Not now. Can't say I blame you. Well, we both fuck Elvis. <sighs> well, I have to hand it to you, Clarence. This is not nose garbage. This is quality stuff. Perfect merchandise. The only trouble is, when I'm offered a deal that's too good to be true, it's because it's a lie. Now, why don't you convince me you're on the level? Well, you see, you're getting the, the deal of a lifetime here because I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. You're used to dealing with professionals. I ain't no professional. I'm a rank amateur. Now, I could take that, I could cut it, I could sell it a little piece at a time, and I could make a hell of a lot more money that way. But in order to do that, well, I'd, I'd have to become a drug dealer, and uh, I don't want to be no drug dealer. I mean, deal with... Uh, Cutthroat junkies with killers worry about getting busted all the time. Shit, I'm terrified meeting you here today, and I'm you. You're not a junkie, a killer, or a cop. You're a fucking movie maker, and I'm still terrified. I'm just a punk kid who found a rock in the street, only to find out it's the fucking Hope Diamond. Now, that's worth a million, but I can't get a million for it, but you can. So I'll sell it to you. A couple hundred thousand. It's all found money to me, anyway. I mean, me and my wife, we're, we're minimum wage kids. To us, 200,000 is the world. So, uh, how did you convince your cop friend that you could sell it? I bullshitted him. <laughs>